Hey, hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. So today's video is going to be on the new e.l.f. Cosmetic Quads, the little bite size palettes. This is one of them right here. They came out with a variety of little tiny palettes and I purchased them all. So these are all the little quads. I purchased them all. They're each $3. They are different shades and I decided to sacrifice my eyelids for you guys today. I tried on each of these today and my eyelids are burning. <laughs> I mean they hurt. They're sore from wiping and then reapplying eyeshadow and it's taken most of the day mainly because I've had to stop and restart again. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at each of these little bite-sized quads. If you guys want to see or see how they apply pigment whether they're good or not for your money what price range they are and where you can get them, then just stick around and keep on watching. So this is the little quad right here. This is the first one that I use. This is in Berry Bad. And they are really pretty, really pigmented. This one was actually really, really good. I did make clips of using all these eyeshadows. So if you guys want to check out the looks that I created using these eyeshadows, then you can skip to this one here so you can start watching them now and skip through the talking part of this if that's all you're interested in. But this one is really, really pretty, super pigmented. It did blend out pretty good. I actually really like this one. I would recommend it. Again, all of these are $3. The next one that they have is Pumpkin Pie. That's what this little quad looks like here. This quad right here is more of a natural or neutral shade for somebody who likes to wear more every day. Wearable makeup. This one's definitely one that I would pick up. $3? Yes, please. The next one here is Truffles. And that's what this looks like. Oh my god, this shade is also... The squad, I mean, is also so pretty. This is also um, more of a neutrals. This shade here, oh gorgeous all of the shimmery shades in these palettes are really pretty this one also performed really nicely on the eyes super pigmented super blendable absolutely loved it there was hardly any patchiness for three dollars i was really impressed this other one here is rose water again another more neutrals color this one's more on the mauvey side i really love the way these have performed you guys for the most part these have performed amazing this next one here is carnival candy and this is one of the little quads that actually caught my attention i just love the color story in this little palette here unfortunately though you guys this one probably what i have to say is like my least favorite out of all the ones that i used it didn't perform as well that blue is so stunning in, in the pan and it is stunning on but it also has a lot of fallout these colors were really patchy. These two here um, didn't work as well as I would have liked them to work or as I expected them to work compared to the other ones that I did try before it. Just not just not very good. I honestly would not recommend you guys pick this up even though it's only $3. It is really pretty but really difficult to work with. This next one here is more of a green one. This is Hot Jalapeno. It is a little green quad. And I have to say, again, the colors in here are so beautiful, but these also kind of failed to meet my expectations that the other ones had set up for me. The two green shades were really patchy, kind of hard to work with, did not blend out well. But the two shimmer shades here, these two were amazing. If you were to pick up any of the color ones, I would definitely pick up this one, just because it did perform a lot better than the Carnival Candy Eyes. But this one, again, is in hot jalapeno. The next one that they had was this blue one. This is Acai You. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not even sure, honestly, you guys, how you pronounce it. I'll leave it on the screen for you guys. I'm horrible with pronunciation stuff. Clearly, I have trouble talking. But this one, again, also kind of failed to meet my expectations compared to the other ones. The two shades here had a really hard, actually all of them except for the shimmery shade had a really hard time with. They were really patchy, really hard to work with. I definitely wouldn't recommend them to someone who's just starting out in makeup. If you want a blue quad, if anything, I would say if you want a blue eyeshadow, pick the one up from ColourPop. It's still affordable. You do kind of have to pay shipping. 
but it's better quality than this one. It is only $3 though, so if you wanted to risk it and go ahead and try it, definitely pick it up. It's very affordable. Um, again, the, co the color ones, these three basically, the ones that are colorful, which are probably the ones that people, at least me, were leaning more towards, were very disappointing. <laughs> The last one in their collection is Cream and Sugar and is also the one that I have on my eyes currently. Oh my god, this one is amazing. Again, another neutrals, more natural for more natural makeup wearers. Really easy to create. You could either use both of them on the lids. I use the more goldy one on my lid and this one as my highlight. And then, you know, obviously transition and brow bow for I mean yeah the other two so this one was really cute I do like the way it looks on my eyelid I didn't put too much effort to create this look which I'm really happy about because my eyes are really sore especially right here where a lot of the blending takes place so my final opinion on these little quads do I think they're worth the money for some of them, yes. Like I said, for the more natural wearing ones, especially this one, this one's really pretty. The one in, what's this one? Truffles, oh my god, I was, a lot of these shimmery shades, as you guys will watch, if you do watch that part of my video, I was in shock on how much product was on my brush and how beautiful it applied on the lid. The e.l.f. definitely got the shimmery shade formulation right on the money for these little quads. I mean, the shimmery shades for the most part, except for the Carnival Candy, were really, really amazing. There were some fallout with some of the eyeshadows, but still, it's a $3 eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's worth the money, if I can say. I really, really do like them. I'm happy that I did purchase them, and I got to test them out for you beauties. So if you guys were curious about whether or not they are Nancy approved, so definitely go out and purchase the more natural eye-wearing ones. Kind of stick away from the colorful ones, I know, unfortunately. Unless you're wanting to, you don't mind spending $3 for like two shades in this one or, you know, like the one shade in that one. I definitely do, but ni modos, ya los gare, so aquí están. I will put some use into them eventually, but definitely got some other shades that work a lot better in my collection. So that's basically it, beauties. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below on what you would like to see next, and until next time, bye!
Thank you.